Hi, I'm Irene Diamond, and I'm here interviewing my dad, Dr. Milton Diamond, who's a researcher, professor, educator at the John A. Burns School of Medicine at the University of Hawaii. <laughs> so, a lot of people are um, concerned and have questions about finding out that maybe their child's professor or teacher is gay or maybe someone in a partnership or a relationship or a marriage finds out that their partner is gay or transsexual or transgender. What do, what do, what do you suggest? How do they handle that? What should they be asking? What should they be doing? What should they be thinking if that comes up in their life? Well, I, first of all, my general answer to something like that is it shouldn't make a difference to them. If, they're, if the person is a math teacher, I just want them to be a good math teacher. She's a history teacher. I want him, if, you know, she, if she's a history teacher, I want her to be a good history teacher. I don't care. So their sexual identity shouldn't even play into it, but it does. It does for some parents who are concerned for the wrong reasons. They think almost as if someone's uh, sexual orientation is contagious. You know, right. can get or it'll it rub off on their child. It, right, and, and that doesn't happen. I mean. Just the way you might see a smoker, you don't necessarily go out and smoke. Or you see somebody who likes to play f uh, basketball, you don't necessarily go out and play basketball. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, being having a, uh, a teacher who's gay doesn't, doesn't reflect on, on the student. Now, some people are saying, well, gay people are always trying to recruit. That's a stupid stereotype, and mm -hmm. it doesn't mean anything, or shouldn't mean anything. What does recruit mean? And so what about if um, someone in a relationship or a partnership finds out that their partner prefers, uh, you know, sexual relations with homosexual relationship or something like that? Well, that's a more, much more difficult question. I mean. When you talk about a partner, first the question comes, how long have you been with that partner to find out? I mean, hopefully before you establish a, a lasting relationship, you found that out. Now, again, since there's a lot of stigma and shame, mm -hmm. the person that is in that group, whatever that group is, I mean, a person could be a Democrat and married to a Republican and one doesn't like the other because of their political reasons. So uh, those are, those should be worked out before, before the relationship before goes the relationship further. Before goes further, but sometimes it doesn't because the individual themselves are not secure right. in their own uh, orientation, or they think, which is not uncommon, well this will change me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to marry this beautiful woman, and I. I will no longer be interested in men, or the woman might say, well, I'm going to marry this great guy, he's a real stud, I'm not going to be interested in women anymore. But of course, nature has its way, and yeah. there's another indication of the force of nature rather than nurture. Right. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Milton Diamond. The University of Hawaii School of Medicine, John A. Burns School of Medicine. Um, if you're interested in things I have to say or interested in the things I've written about, I have a website you can check out. It's under the Pacific Center for Sex and Society. And if you'd like to keep in touch or you'd like me to let you know if I'll be speaking in your area or writing things you may be interested in, Drop me a line, and fill out this form that's associated with this, and we can keep in touch. Thank you.